What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight channel. Uh, we're doing this reaction video for Trans Allegheny and then we won't have any more reaction videos for a little while because all the videos that are coming up now are going to be brand new locations and investigations. Places we've never been before, mm -hmm. with tools we've never had, with cameras that we've upgraded to. Oh yes. So I know it's been a few weeks of you guys watching the old series and like master cuts and reaction videos, but I promise it's worth the wait. The new videos are coming and mm -hmm. we needed all that time. It's just getting better and better. To just make you them know? the absolute best they can the be. The quality yeah. has gone. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, this channel will have Biltmore coming up, the presidential suite with Patty Negri. Then we're going to New Orleans to work with a voodoo priestess. Then we're going to the Myrtles Plantation. We'll be investigating there. Then we're going to Burn Brave Mansion in New York, the Shanley Hotel. Lizzie mm. Borden, Whew. the SK Mansion, Waverly Hills, Bobby Mackey's, back to Ohio State Reformatory because we got cut short there. Oh yes. Then we have Alcatraz, oh and we have a couple uh, a couple more locations up north. Oh, and then we're going geez. to Europe. We're going to Romania. We're doing Bron Castle. We're doing Hoi Bai Chu. Then we're going to the UK God for 21 you. days. <laughs> of filming. This we just crazy. gotta give Jack, our editor, a little break. That's a little gonna, breather to play catch how up. How many but videos is that gonna be? I think it's around 40. <gasps> wow. I think it's around 40. It depends, on, it depends on how we cut them. By the way, I don't know if you guys prefer that. Either we can break them up, where part one is always history driven and us doing like a tour, kind of like how we did in Missouri State Pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or any of those videos. Or we can just do one big one like Axe Murder House, yeah. which was like everything compressed. Oh and we just God. do weekly videos. And I say we leave it up to leave it up to you guys. Yeah. So let us know what you want to do. If you want to do like weekly, like an hour, hour and a half long videos, or you prefer like two different parts. I mean, ultimately it's the same amount of content. Yeah. yeah. It's just a matter of how you get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all coming up. We've been working our ass off on this, and TFIL is still going strong. TFIL is getting the Queen Mary series. Oh um, yeah. Because we never, the oh channel boy. never did a real investigation there, which is me <laughs> yes. and my elaborate host. And also, we have not. I've been never there. seen it. Yeah. Never been there. Yeah. So Patty and Linda are both joining us at the Queen Mary. We're going to be yes. doing, we're not picking teams, it's going to be all of us with Patty. Okay, And cool. then all of us with Linda. All right. And all then right. we are sleeping on the boat. There is no one else on the entire ship. We are sleeping wherever we want. Any room is open to us, B340 or the boiler room or whatever we I want. I can sleep on the deck. You can sleep anywhere you want. There will be no one else and we may be the last people to film on the Queen Mary what? for a couple of years. Wow. We, may, we might end up being one of the last people to film there for yeah. quite some time because they're wow. doing renovations. So that's all coming up. Oh. But regardless, this is the Trans Allegheny reaction video. This one's been long awaited. Wow. This is Lily. Yeah. yeah. Now this was one of my favorite investigations that yeah. we've like ever done. This was the first investigation where we ever got like purely positive, right? For the most part, mm -hmm. just mm, yeah. something incredibly positive. Yeah. History was like history was morbid. awful. But history was evidence morbid. wise, evidence Insane. wise, the only yes. like real like gritty evidence, like concrete evidence, was the positive evidence. You had a connection to Lily, like it was crazy. Maybe yeah. we got to go back. But I mean, we can. We absolutely can. And then maybe this time uh, I'll put one of you guys by yourself, blindfolded somewhere else. Uh, that seems like your thing. I won't let you do that I don't that think one. we have to go back. <laughs> I just suggested it, but it was just a suggestion. <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm really excited to see what you guys get down in this area. Um, it's, it can be a little grumpy at, at times. There's a lot of reports that grumpiness can affect people's mental health. And none of us had ever heard of that before. No. Growling. I've never heard of red eyes. And growling, this was, uh, this is before. Was this before Bel Air? This is after. This was no. after, yeah, yeah. Be did Bel Air have, it was growling, right? Yeah, well, it was growling. This was posted, sure. this was posted Bel after Bel Air, but filmed before Bel Air. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, yes. I think I've heard of the red eyes from one other thing. Have you guys heard of, like, the men in black, like, children and, like, people? No. Have you guys heard about that theory? Men in Black, yeah. like the movie. I've seen the movie. No, it's like apparently that's where like they came up with the idea for Men in Black because that's like a alien government oh, thing. Like they they're like, they're like wipe your or something, and like they only wear suits. They're always in black. But then there's like children also that are just like all like black shadows, but people can only see like red eyes on them or black eyes sometimes. That's weird. I do not know of this. I have not heard yeah, of this before. Heard of you should look it up. Okay. It's I'll look a little... it up. This was also the first time I had ever pitched this idea. It was just a weird impulse and then I ended up being the guy that did it. But I feel like we should we have not done this in a very long time. 
What idea? And I feel like the Queen Mary might be a good place. Wait, 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 what, what? what idea? Oh. It was it was this idea. It was what my, idea my genius about? idea that I set out loud, and then all of you were like, If you blindfolded me and dropped me off somewhere randomly in here, I would never get out. So that's what we're doing? Oh! <laughs> Immediately, so that's what oh. we're doing? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Mm. I think, I feel like that's something we should do way more often. Yeah. I think Corey should have all the fun. Yep. Yeah, me yep. too. Yep. Cor yep. Corey doesn't have enough fun. Honestly, he let's likes do that. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, this is one of the places where we got, like, vivid detail on everything that was happening in terms of, like, they knew step by step yeah. how people were murdered, how violence yeah. happened. And, of course, this was the first place we went to that was, like, heavily utilized for lobotomies. Yeah. Uh. And he was explaining, like, exactly how it's done by they just basically Ooh. take, like, a rod or a Through pen or a needle and yeah. they just jam it up into your brain. Oh. And this was the first time we'd ever heard of, like, how much power the paranormal can have in a location. Yeah. Because he literally said this would happen it's crazy to that investigators. It's crazy that down here, one of the most common reports we get is people will get a small pinch in their eye, and sometimes we get thunderclap headaches. We've even had guides go home, wake up the next day with black eyes. Dude, oh, that's stuff. still insane. Isn't that crazy? People that's... would go home with black eyes as if like they had been given a lobotomy by a spirit. How do, you, how do you think that's even possible? I don't you know. know. We had never, we've heard like scratches before. And headaches. I mean, I've and heard of headaches. headaches. For sure. But but people black go eyes. getting black eyes, because I mean, it makes sense. Like, if you get hit now, you're going to get the black eye tomorrow. Exactly, yeah. Well, yeah. so what? Does that mean the ghost followed them home then while they were sleeping? No, they did. No, like something right happened there. to them while they were there. Like a lobotomy. But it doesn't like yeah. swell up. You know, you're, the bruising doesn't show until like, you know, 12 mm. some hours later. That's low-key terrifying. Yeah. Okay, and then this part, I still just want to know what was going through your head. Because you stole a ball from a spirit? And what? like, no, you just walk, look at this. Wait, what? This was like. I told her why don't take the ball. Huh? That's Dean's ball, dude. Should I put Dean's ball back? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 no, no, Why did you so steal the ball? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? You gotta put that back. Don't put that back. Go by yourself. <laughs> What but should we take? No, keep it. Let's go now. Let's go. We're gonna take it to the next place. Dude. Oh my god. Now we're gonna have something. Somebody's gonna move. Look at him run! Look at him run! Why? I've never oh ran that fast in my life when I had to go put it back and then you guys just kept going. Because it's dark. I sprinted. But like, why'd you take the ball? <laughs> okay, first, I don't think I was thinking. <laughs> and if I was thinking. Maybe it would have given us more activity somewhere else. Mm. I mean, it is a good idea. It sounds like something that else would do. Yeah, but I honestly, I think I was just like, oh, ball. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you did something wrong because you were walking with it behind you had your it back. Your so back. I didn't want you to make me put it back. No, but you didn't know I was behind you. Because uh, I snuck up on you and then that's when you got caught because I, yeah. I was hiding. You were trying to like just hide the ball from everyone. Like you knew you did something wrong. I wanted it, man. Let me leave alone. <laughs> he just loves balls. You can't be doing that, dude. I do love that our guide was like so enthusiastic at everything, but he also really wanted us all to get like scratched. He was like, people get scratched here. I can't wait to see what happens to you guys. Like he, he really just yeah. wanted, he was so pumped for anyone to get any activity. Can you see your injuries? Yeah. We've barked at, we've been yipped at, we've been scratched. A couple of us have been scratched up here. Um, it's, it seems to be intelligent, so I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys get up here to. <laughs> yeah. He, he was it. just like so fun. He you guys are about to go get hurt by an intelligent no. ghost. Exactly. Dude, I bet it's just, I, it was more of like we're so new and mm -hmm. he just knows how much activity happens there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He probably was really like, I cannot wait till the end of the night or the next day to find out what that happened. Guy, no. yeah. He has been doing that for so long. He's been yeah. walking those grounds for so long. And you remember him telling us like at night some of the stuff that would happen? Mm. He just knows that place inside out, and he yeah. knew that us being by ourselves, that oh. something was going to happen. And he said he had worked there for seven years, maybe five years, but he had worked there for That's a too good many amount years. of time. Too many That's too years. many years, mm -hmm. for sure. This next clip was one of the biggest, this one threw us all off, and comment-wise, people like couldn't figure it out. This is when I'm blindfolded in the wheelchair, and the alarm goes off. Oh. Yep. yep. This <laughs> freaked me out. That's genuine what? shock. Wait, that's, that's a lot. We're gonna have to just come up with that. That's what you're talking about. What does that want? Shh. Shh. Oh, it's still going. That's old school. Shh. 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 Shh.
He's still blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> you were blindfolded that whole time. Take I'm like, what's going on? What's, what's going on, guys? What's going on? That wasn't just an alarm. That was the scariest alarm I've ever mm-hmm. heard. That's that like was something... like what you would hear if like a tsunami was going to yep. come mm-hmm. and like yeah. take over. It felt like the like... 1950s. It felt like just an old yeah. school alarm. Yeah. Well, the alarm was not paranormal. It was a real alarm. <sighs> Sure. It was a genuine alarm, and it's the curfew alarm for the town. Oh, that's BS. Oh, because of COVID. Why would they do COVID? that? Uh, just in general, yeah, it was, I think it was COVID, but also, like, they were having issues. So they, they set a curfew in that oh, town. What time yeah. of that was that? I believe that was 11 p.m. You imagine being asleep in that town mm-hmm. and then just hearing that. The first time they decided to use it. Oh, yeah. oh my Ooh. God. I, I think the town's just pranking us. I think that's probably <laughs> what I think that's what it was. I don't yeah. think I don't think that there was like- Do you remember them saying room. how all of the patients would just leave the yard yeah. and they would just walk through the town? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, everyone, we are at the Basement Alive Escape Room Experience. We're in Silmar right now. There's a location in Vegas and as well as one in Missouri. Mm. So it's been awesome to be able to film here. And also, if you guys don't know, we are still running the overnight contest where we pick one person every single month and then we will come out to your hometown and you can join us with like an investigation, something overnight, whatever it is that you want to do. We actually are doing the Lizzie Borden house with one of the winners Ooh. and we're doing Bobby Mackey with one of the winners. So we already have two winners that we've already planned out and we're filming with them. So that'll be happening soon. Two ways to enter. Uh, yeah, one super simple. Just leave a like and a comment on this video. Where that equals it? one entry. Every time, every video you do that on equals an entry. The other way is to head over to SendinSociety.com, the clothing line that we run. Every dollar you spend equals one entry. And every month it restarts and we just keep picking winners. So we have a whole random number generator. It just goes bloop. And then we email that person and go, bloop. hello. And we fly out to you. So it's a real thing. Uh, so of course, you know, do that. If you want to support the channel, say hello. We're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, let's continue on with our uh, reaction video. Yeah. Oh, this part, none of you ever saw unless you watched the video, but it was when I got blindfolded, you guys locked me in. I don't even know what you locked me in. I think a, a refrigerator. It was a refrigerator. It was a freezer. You guys locked me in some kind of freezer storage closet. Yeah. Was it, was it, it was as far back as we could find. It was, it was more cold. of like a random room that we found that we didn't really know how we found. But it was like yeah. six feet by six feet. It was definitely like not like a bedroom or anything. No, I don't know what that was. It could have been like a solitary confinement room or something. That's what it seemed more like. But I legitimately thought one of you was still in the room with me. The That's entire time. I li- I'm literally saying it. I'm like, some, I'm like, I thought one of you was like up behind me just like, breathing on my neck just to mess with me. And it's so weird because I'm counting, and this is probably just pure coincidence, but listen to what number I say, and then my it's the first one, I'm like, what the hell's behind me? It's gotta be, it's just pure coincidence, but it's also really weird to me. Let me listen. see. 66. Sounds like there's someone in this f-ing room right now. 70. Oh, you <laughs> Look at that tiny. No Wait, I said, oh my God, I said there was something inside here with me. That room was smaller than I remembered. But the, wow. I just find it weird that the number, 66. 66, yeah. Literally, I'm like, 66, and then I'm like, what the hell is in the room? Damn. And then I take the blindfold off, and I was like, oh. That's so creepy. That freaked me out, because I opened it up, and I was like, there is no breeze, there's no Dude. chance anyone And it's a small room. And we didn't give you a flashlight, I don't think, right? No. All oh, I had yeah. was uh, the night vision camera here, and then that camera on me. See, no I couldn't. Chance. I couldn't see anything there at all. Is no that is creepy. Chance. Sixty-six. Yeah. There's someone in here. Well, okay. So check this out. So I couldn't find the time mark this came from in the video, but someone sent me this picture. Yeah. Fucking crazy. What? what? Dude. Okay. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. You can't just say that. This is <laughs> fucking crazy. Okay. So this is me trying to find you guys walking back. <laughs> Everyone leaned over. Peep that. What is Whoa. that? Is that a face? Huh. How fucking crazy is that? Man, make that bigger. Is that like eye sockets? It looks like a it looks like a guy with like a big like mustache looking like just like a big Dude, that looks like a little girl. Wait. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. It looks like a, like a Chucky, like the female version of Chucky. Wait, wait, a show, show me where girl. the eyes are. It's like tilted sideways, like looking over. That me. doesn't look like Whoa. a little girl at all. Oh, shit. It, it looks, looks like, like it looks like a little demon, like Chucky demon. No, that looks like a little oh, demon. Like, yeah. it looks like yeah, I, I see. Horns. I that's see what you're saying baby. now. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That looks like <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Bro, it looks like Annabelle it with her hands hurt. It does, dude. I don't want my feet on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, 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 what are you even, dude? Dude, 
Dude, that looks like Annabelle. That's me just casually walking, and then it pops over my shoulder. I wish you had the footage. I know. I want to see that part in the clip. So let's crazy. Dude. Let's think of any name that that weird little creepy demon girl could have. I thought Lily was cool and nice, not like little demon hey, creepy girl. People who are cool and nice could also look. You know, maybe you not. You guys just called her little creepy demon uh, Lily. I thought she was like little sweet, nice, happy Lily. Lily. That she could, could be, be a nice. really nice person. Are you in the chair? No, I'm leaving. This is. I've already left the room, and I'm walking down the hallways to find you guys right oh. now. See, because right. like that's oh. not the room anymore. All right, everybody. Oh, what is that? If you know what part of the video this is in, yeah, please like screen record it and Someone tweet the it. crap out of us. I want to see this. Someone find that clip. And here's the thing: is I'm on my way to you guys, and this is like as you guys eventually meet Lily. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Wait, that was right before we met her. You guys had just met Lily. And at the, the same and, and, time. And those though. clips, those clips have to be a couple minutes oh, or, or, or oh, almost at the same time. I was thinking you were in that part with, oh, you you were still coming I'm back. still coming to you. Oh. So that thing is there as I'm coming to you. And then a few minutes later, or like maybe at the same time. Lily to us. Yeah. Your clip was recorded as we were speaking with Lily. Yeah. Or slightly before. Yeah. yeah. Cause that was because right as I left Lily the room. Was He's saying that Lily was with him and then came I mean, over. ghosts can teleport. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no doubt. Ghost yeah. Uber? And this Ghost ended Uber. up being the first time we'd ever used, like, music. Oh, yeah. As, like, a, an investigation tool. I mean, like, sometimes, like, Brandon oh, yes. Sometimes Brandon yeah. plays just for fun, but we're never, like, in a serious, like, hey, we're going to play music because mm -hmm. we think maybe you like it. And I do wonder, like, was that a pretty I impactful... Like, yeah, I think we should do that more. I mean, we don't always have little creepy music boxes. Was it like a little Jack in the Box thing we oh, had? We yeah. might have one now. Uh, oh, you bastard. What happened? I said we might have it. Oh. I'm going to play it, okay? Forgot. Oh. And so at this point, there's no real activity that's kind of happened other than like maybe a thing or two or asking some questions. But as soon as we start playing the music box. Can you slid up? It will again. Oh, that's the directional one. <gasps> oh! Yes! That's right! I forgot all about that! And it leads us out, and we bring the music box with us. And then, so now we pl start playing the music box. We get led outside. We're playing the music box in the hallway, and the K2 hadn't gone off yet. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And then this is when Corey meets Lily. Go, 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 go,
Let's go back in here. Oh, dude, it just spiked all the way to red. Alright, so insane. I mean, like, she walked down the hallway with you and walked back with you. And once we put the music box back in the room, stopped. that's when it ended. That was it. Yeah. Maybe that was like her comfort. You know, that music box. It could have been. I think what we were saying when we were there is like, maybe she followed us because we took her music box, you know? And we, that's why we wanted Corey to walk it all the way back. That's true. Oh, yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah. brought the music box out of the room. But th also at the same time, like, if taking the music box out of the room is like you taking the ball out of the room, well, we had no activity with her until we took the music box out of the room. That's mm -hmm. true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, because like the K2 had never gone off in the room, and even the directional was actually pointing outside. So uh, actually, we kind of followed yeah. the evidence outside of the room because we were all chilling in the room until yeah. the light went off. Yeah, yeah. And then we're like, okay, maybe she wants us to take her for a walk down the hallway. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> maybe Dude, she like needed an adult to leave her room. Do you remember the conversations we were having? Like it was like getting emotional. It was like, do you miss your dad? Mm -hmm. It was like stuff like that. Yeah. It was like I remember like. Well, didn't she answer or something? I was like, where's my dad or something? Like, I, yeah. I I just, I don't know why, but all I can remember from that night, like, if I tried to remember it, it was K2 was going off anytime I held it down where she would probably be standing. And then I just remember just, like, this feeling of, like, where's my dad? Like, yeah. help me. Yeah. Like, where's my dad? Like, I'm scared. Emotional. Yeah. And then it was just weird that... You know, like you said, like she or whatever it was literally followed us and then we walked with her, walked in there, put her stuff back in there and was like, look, you can't follow us back out here. Yeah. Like you have to stay. And then like low key listened. Yeah. And then that was it for the rest of the, did the K2 yeah, but even not go at first. off later? Not at first. Do you remember like we came well, out Well, then there. she tried to come back. Yeah. Again. Yeah. 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 No, I remember that. I think, and I think that's even more so for you because it was like, I felt like it was you that was really bringing her out. That's the first time I've ever heard you say anything like that. What? That you were like, I could just feel like she was missing her father. Like she was missing her dad. Yeah. Dude. That is weird. Yeah, Do we never talk about that? No. No, you just asked questions, but you never explained why. I just figured you're talking to a little girl and you knew what happened, right? Like, we were given the history, but you never once said that, like, I could feel like this mm -hmm. spirit was missing her father. You've never said Dude, anything like that that's before. so weird. Because, like, I swear to God, like, I feel like that's, like, what we all agreed on. That was it, was that, like, she missed her dad and she was, like, replacing me as, like, a protective father, father figure yeah. just because you, I was, like, a said medium. All that. Type, uh, yeah. You said all that. We never said any of that. That was you said all of that. <laughs> we just thought there was a little spirit girl that just was like wanted to hold, walk next to you and hold your hand. Daddy might be right. Like she was like safe. She's like you're not my dad, but I feel like I wow. can trust you. Will you take me back? Or yeah. I don't want to go by myself. And then I did. What's your shirt size? Medium. XL. Thank you. That was very subtle. I really appreciated that one. <laughs> Ask me how I like my steak done. How do you like your steak done? Well. 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 Just go to the next clip. Well, there is no next clip. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> There's literally no next clip because throughout the rest of the video, Everything that we caught is very clearly caught. Did you ever find out or did you know? Remember when I left Lily's room and I bent down to pick up something right outside the door and I heard someone whisper to me like, hey or hello? Did we ever go and try to listen to that? It was on the audio recorder sitting outside of the door. Hmm. And I swore because that was before we interacted with Lily. That was like when I was first- Oh, that was me. Was it you? Yeah, remember? Because I went, I first I went all the way outside and I was the one tapping on the window oh, trying yeah. to mess with you guys. Oh. That was me. Yeah. That's right. It wasn't Lily. That was, it was me because, that was me because Evan was on the other side of the room with the window that I was on and I couldn't climb up the other window. Yeah. So I was trying to be like, Evan, hey. Like, <laughs> flip the camera so that way I could like pop up in the window. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. that was. Okay, so one thing we did in this video, it's not in, in the edit, but it was kind of cool. I don't know why I had a weird impulse for it. But as we were getting the tour, he was giving us like, so many different places things happen. I started putting tape yeah. on everything. Oh, yeah. and, good idea. And like the original that. plan was that, like that the original plan. plan was that we wouldn't leave until we had uh, like done investigation on every single piece of tape. Yeah. Yeah. We ran out of time. Yeah. So I feel like in the future when we do big locations like that, we should actually stick to it 
and put no tape on intended. it. Yeah. Hey. Stick to it. <laughs> we should actually stick to that plan and not leave until we've covered properly every single place. Even if that means going in solo, if that means going in pairs, whatever we need I'm, to do. I, that 100% means going solo. Oh, we're running out of time. Brandon, can you go to the dungeon and get that last piece of tape? Can't leave until you oh, come back with that. That's a great thing. That, that, that is a yeah, man. You think the tape's still there? The tape? No, I no. think, uh, no, we missed two pieces. Yeah. We missed two pieces, mm -hmm. and I told him, I was like, hey, I actually don't know where they are anymore. The place is so big. I think I'm going to go to the store, and I'm going to buy every style tape, and I'm going to bring it so with me on the trip. The so I'll be like, like I'm going gonna, gonna to go get it. And I'll just rip off <laughs> a little piece of what I saw on news. Like, I got it. Now I know. <laughs> so now I know, and I'm going to, like, sign them all, and, like, so that way oh, I Nice, <laughs> nice. That's one of my favorite places we've gone. Yeah. And some Seriously. of the worst history I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. That one it really freaks me out. Murder, though. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. To you start going out to your room. And oh. you get into medieval torture. That's going to be a whole other level. People yep. Smell We're going to the place people. where basically torture, modern day torture, was born. But yeah, I, pre I appreciate all of you for, for tuning in, supporting us. Like, the 25 weeks was like just because, oh, because of COVID. Yeah. And oh, it's been over for all the, the 25 weeks has ended a while ago. Wait, 25, right? we're, yeah, this is like, we're like way 39 behind. weeks or something. Yeah. But it's crazy how it all worked out. Like, it is very strange how we like started, you know, we went back to Suicide Bridge and that's how we met Linda. Yep. Yeah. And then we ended the 25 weeks by doing the Cecil Hotel mm -hmm. with Linda. Yep. Yep. Oh, that is awesome. And, and then like how we like met up with Patty and like all these like even meeting, um, Deidre at Penhurst and learning about cat balls and seances. Yeah, yep. getting the dick. cat balls changed us. Yeah, for honestly, a while. yeah, like that's all the these huge ones. Linda like literally like letting us borrow her tools and like mm -hmm. that's how we ended up with the REM pod. Yeah, and, yep. like, like the Cecil video never would have been what it ended up being. No, if we hadn't done, I think the forty one or forty five videos prior to that. Yeah, one. yeah. You just pick up a little bit of things here and there from every video, every different experience. Dude, but yeah. look how comfortable we are now. I it's know. like we're not as we obviously still are scared, but we're not as like unexperienced in a way. Yeah. Because we yeah. all know exactly how to use every tool. Mm -hmm. We know what questions to go in there asking. Yep. We know what rooms are ready to go to because Elton does all the research and tells us. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. Uh, hey, hey, Corey, go into that room. You're going to love it. Okay. I'm going to start giving you guys like pamphlets on our drive, like on the way to Queen Mary. Like, here's 15 pages. <laughs> You know what I should start yeah. doing is in the future, whenever we get like tours from like the historians, I'm just gonna quiz you guys at the end of the tour, and whoever gets the least answers right gets like locked somewhere by themselves. Oh, that's a great so idea. Force you guys to start. Ooh, that's some great motivation. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> the next video on this channel is actually gonna be us doing the the escape room that we're in. Hey! Oh. hey. We you guys never, think we won? Oh. Did we do it? You guys think we beat the escape room? I'll, I'll, I'll say it right now, I don't think we're smart enough. I don't. I don't think we're observant enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at how much stuff we miss. In our I think we're kind of dumb. You know. We're, o we're okay. We're all right. We're like, I, I, would go, I would go kind of, we're kind of smart. We're not like, like mathematician yeah. puzzle masters. We're like, we can remember Dude. our way through a uh, sanatorium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Good the video, time. and uh, thank Good you time. again to the basement, a live escape room experience in Silmar, where we are right now for letting us film here. Thank and we're you. excited for the escape room video. Bye, Should we start now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We already have the room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we've already solved right. it. Yeah. 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 Get the fuck out. Oh.